Hey, and this morning we have Elizabeth Prisby from the New York Times. Pleasure to have you on, Elizabeth. Hi, pleasure to be here. Um, you have a story coming out uh, very soon about possible allegations that Senator McCarthy is involved with Russia. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Um, so, of course, the United States has no intentions of communicating the USSR until the FBI has cleared up any assumptions regarding the thumb incident. Of course. Um, so as we learned this morning, the thumb incident has been confirmed to be the USSR leaving um, members' thumbs on the staircases as a threat to the United States. Therefore, we don't want to associate ourselves with any peace negotiations with the USSR until we can confirm that they are to be trusted. We would hate for our leader, President um, Harry S. Truman, to be um, be raided, to be uh, held hostage, it would just be a tra uh, travesty. So um, we are further looking into that situation. All the while, we are looking into the screams that were heard on the fourth floor last night. Um, McCarthy stormed the U.S. cabinet, and he is currently being investigated by the FBI as he was screaming about communism, he was accusing our president. Clearly, he is a madman. So. Uh, the FBI is currently looking to clear up any and all allegations against him. Oh, okay. You're also on the ICJ beat and talking about Israel and Palestine, India and Pakistan, Korea. How do you have time to cover it all? Honestly, uh, the way I see it, uh, the UN moves so quickly, so as a reporter, I feel I have to do the same. Um, the thoroughness of each and every uh, committee and cabinet alike um, really makes it easy as a reporter to bounce back and forth because the hard work of each UN representative, um, they're also like uh, corresponding to all the reporters. It's easy enough to get all of the information to make the most thorough articles regarding the truth. Okay, well, thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me.